before we get a ding on our credit score. All right, so 14 2, you guys need your um, 14 2. Working papers, please. No, we didn't. Yes, you're welcome. There's like four people gone. Let's this absence thing, fourth quarter, kind of cramps my style as an educator, I have to say. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Recording entries related to uncollectible accounts receivable. Page 15 of the general journal. We're using page 15 of the general journal. Um, and page 24 of the cash receipts journal. The company is Olson Company. Uh, we're going to journalize the following transactions completed during November and December of the current year. Post the transactions to the accounts receivable ledger when the transactions are recorded in the journal. Okay, so we're going to post as we go. Um, also, I would like to point out that I have missing assignments, missing reinforcement activities from some of you guys, and it is a huge assignment that you need to get turned in because it's um, yeah, not going well there. Okay, so first transaction on November 4th. So we've got 2014 November. The transaction is wrote off Mellon Corpse past due account as uncollectible. $494 M145. So this is on the 4th. We've got allowance. Now this is a long account name, so you got to kind of make sure you're going to be able to put it all in there. Okay, allowance for uncollectible accounts, M145, that's how we know it goes in the general. There's a memorandum number, and the amount is for 494 Then we are going to credit. You can abbreviate accounts receivable if you'd like, just as long as you abbreviate it like that, ACCTS period, REC period, accounts receivable, and then do not forget to divide your post reference, and then we've got 494 here, and then we're going to post. So we're going to find our allowance for uncollectible accounts. Conveniently, they're located all in the same spot. <laughs> so this is on the fourth. This was from General Journal page 15. So G15. And it was for 494. And we're debiting. Right? Okay. So, pay attention to what you're doing here. We have a credit balance, 2,158.47, and we have a debit, so that means we're going to have to subtract 494. So, our balance is now 2,664.47 cents. We take our account number, 1135, and put it back here. And then we're going to post to these two accounts. So the first one is accounts receivable. It's right above the one that we just had on the fourth, G15, we're crediting, 494. So we have a debit balance. And we're crediting, so that means that we're going to subtract. And our balance is now $34,654.85. Then we take our account number 1130, bless you. 
put it back here. Okay. Then we're, we're going to post to the um, subsidiary ledger. So we're going to find Melancorp. It's right there on the back to above. This is on the fourth. G15. We are crediting it for, oh, and then here, remember, we're going to write written off. And then because it's written off, it has a zero balance, and you need a ruler to draw your nice little line. We'll take 130 and put it back here. Okay? Okay, next transaction. Wrote off foreign companies passed due account as uncollectible. 1,548M147. So it's the same transaction except for th this name right here is going to be different. This is on the 15th. So we have allowance for uncollectible accounts M147 for 1548 we're going to credit accounts receivable slash the name of the business corn company don't forget to divide your post reference Okay, then we're going to post. So we find allowance for uncollectible accounts. This was the 15th. Came from G15. We are debiting 1,548. We have a credit balance and we're debiting. So that means that we are going to subtract 2,000. 664 and 47 cents minus 1,548 equals 2,664.47 minus 1,548. Yeah. 1,116.47 cents. Take 11.35. Put it back here. Now we're going to do our credits. First one to the accounts receivable account. Directly above there. On the 15th. From G15. Crediting 1,548. We have a debit balance and we're crediting. So that means that we're going to subtract. And my new balance is 33,106.85. Take my account number 1130. Put it back there. Okay. And then we're going to post to the horn company on the 15th, and we need to write our special note written off. G15, 1,548, and because it has a zero balance, we take our ruler, and we take our account number 120. We'll put it back there. All right, next one, December 8th. So now we're in a new month. So we're going to do 2014, December 8th. All right, here's the big one. Received cash and full payment of Mellon Corp's account, previously written off as uncollectible. $494, M158, and then receipt 341. Two transactions. First one, we have to reverse 
this entry right here. So it's super easy. All we're going to do is flip this one around. So we're going to debit accounts receivable slash Melancorp. Okay, and this is M 158 for this amount, 494. And then we're going to credit allowance for uncollectible accounts, 494. And don't forget to divide this post-reference column. Now we're going to post. Okay, so we're going to post to the accounts receivable account first. So, December 8th, don't forget to update your date here. This is still G15. Okay, and we've got 494. We're debiting. So now I have a debit balance and I'm debiting, so that means that I add them together and now my account balance is $33,685. I'm going to take $1130 and put it back in my spot right here. Next one is Melancourt. Now here's the key. We're going to do 2014, December 8th, and we're going to put reopen account from G15, and it's 494. And then the balance is 494. Okay, so we're going to take our account number 130, put it back there, then we're going to post the last part allowance for uncollectible accounts, twenty fourteen, December 8th, from G15, we are crediting it, 494, it has a credit balance and we're crediting. So that means we add it together, and the balance is now $1,610.47. Now we need to do the second part of that transaction, which is the cash receipt part. So you're going to flip and get your cash receipts journal. All right, and this is 2014. December 8th, and you're just going to write in Melon Corp. The doc number is R341. That was in our transaction, and we got $494 on their account. So we put it in the accounts receivable part, 494 and we put it in the cash debit part, 494. And then we need to post this part just to the melon. Okay? So we find our melon corp in the subsidiary ledger. This is also on the 8th. This came from cash receipts, page 24. And then here at the top of this column, it tells you credit 494 and as you can see it had a debit balance and now we just credited because it paid it off and so now their account is back to zero and everybody's happy. Take our account number 130 and we put it back over here. Yes, but if they don't pay it off, then 
I mean, it's, you have to. You have to first put it on the books that it's written off. Um, so that was December 8th. Now, December 14th. Wrote off Fisher Industries' past due account as uncollectible. 1360 So, same deal. Here we have a new company that's not paying us. Great. So, on the 14th, we're going to debit allowance for uncollectible accounts. M, what is it? M161 for 1,360. And then we're going to debit, or I'm sorry, credit accounts receivable slash Fisher Industries, F-I-S-C-H-E-R. Don't forget to divide your comma, please, I forgot to. Okay, then we're going to post. First two allowance for uncollectible accounts. This is on the 14th came from General Journal page 15, and we debited it for 1360 We have a credit balance, and we're debiting. That means that we subtract, and so now my balance is $250.47. Take my account number, 1135, put it back there. Then I'm going to post these two. First two accounts receivable. So on the 14th, G15, I'm crediting 1,360. I've got a debit balance and I'm crediting, so that means that I subtract, and my new balance is 32,240 and 85 cents. Take my account number 1130, put it back here. Then I'm going to post to Fisher Industries. Oh, it's right below us. Okay, so this is going to be 2014, December 14th, <coughs> G15, and we're crediting 1360 Now their balance is zero. Oh, what I forget? Written off. Take 110, put it back there. Last one. Received cash in full payment of foreign company's account, previously written off as uncollectible, 1,548, M169, receipt 349. So, real easy. On the 16th, we're going to find, what account was it? Horn. We're going to find foreign companies, and we're just going to reverse this entry right here. So we're going to debit accounts receivable slash foreign company. It's M169 for 1548 we're, Then we're going to credit allowance for uncollectible accounts, 1548 Now we have to post accounts receivable. Okay, this happened on the 16th, came from General Journal page 15, and we're debiting 1548 I have a debit balance, and I'm debiting, that means I add them together my balance is now $33,788.85. I take my account number 1130, which I forgot to divide up my. Okay, now Horn Company. On the 16th, we have to write reopen account. G15. 
debiting 1,548. So now their balance is 1,548. Yes. Then you take 120. Go back here. Then allowance for uncollectible accounts needs posted. So on the 16th, came from General Journal, page 5. And we are crediting 1,548. I have a credit balance and I'm crediting. That means that I add them together and my balance is now 1,798.47. Take my account number, 1135. Put it back here. Last part of this is the, re the cash receipt. So now I gotta get my cash receipts. Okay, this happened on the 16th, and it is Horn Company. It is receipt 349, 1,548, and then 1,548. Sorry this is crooked. For some reason, I have to, I don't know what's going on with that, but Okay, then we have to post this. So we gotta find Horn Company on the 16th. This came from CR24. $1,548. And once again, their account is paid off. So we take our account number 120. And we'll put it back in the cash receipts. Okay? So, here's what you need to do. You just need to do the application problem. Okay? So, the application problem has one, two, three, four, five transactions. They're going to be just like these, but different accounts. Okay? I thought I gave it back to you, but I will double check that. One second. 